Hi, this is Shedi and recently I did a video about a master by the name of Minoru Mochizuki and I discussed how he was incredibly uh, skilled in all the arts, uh, specifically weapons, Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, Aikido and he wanted to create his own structure, the Yoseikan structure that uh, envelops and includes everything. I discussed it, I disputed this, talked about his life, his career, but recently I come to find out that he had uh, attempted to contribute to Aikido, uh, a specific moveset that it's originally found in Jiu Jitsu and Judo, and that is the Yoko Sutemi Waza or the side sacrificing techniques. Now, uh, in this video, I'm going to show a little bit of these techniques and also dispute why it is absolutely crucial to have uh, the Yoko Sutemi in the uh, Aikido curriculum or the Aikido repertoire of techniques. Now, the more I research this topic, specifically the relationship between Judo and Aikido, I truly find the value of Aikido and what it truly is. And it's almost very tempting to make me want to go back and cross train the two, but uh, not in the fighting sense, but rather in the uh, philosophical sense. And we can see how the two intertwine indirectly, not just the overlapping techniques, but when it comes to uh, philosophy and truly demonstrating the expression of the arts. And uh, in my opinion, you will not understand the value of Aikido unless you have trained, unless you have fought, unless you have lost. And that's why so many gravitated towards it after a long career in, in the arts. Kenji Tomiki, uh, Kenshiro Abe, uh, Mochizoki and uh, many others fell in love with Aikido, the Aikikai, etc. Uh, after a long career of fighting, being judokas, sparring, uh, non-stop Aikido on its own you will never find out first of all what true fighting is and also you will never find uh, the true value of Aikido and what can really brings as a polish to all the years of training that you had gone by so recently Ryuji Shirikawa, Shirakawa demonstrated these techniques and we will go through them and explain to them which are they so here you can see an Aikido entry very much so, but finished with a Yoko Sutemi Waza. Uh, I believe this is Ukiwaza, a floating technique. You can see how the blending and harmony, etc., that are found in Aikido goes very well hand in hand with uh, the Yoko Sutemi Waza. Here is the Ukiwaza demonstrated by Kiyuzo Mifune. Uh, the finish is the Ukiwaza, but the entry, everything, the spinning around, it is 100% Aikido and that's why you can see that uh, Yoko Sutemi goes very much hand in hand, not only technically but philosophically with Aikido. Uh, there's also the Ude Geishi being done here. As you can see, it's an Ude Kimenage entry but finished with a uh, Ude Geishi, also a judo technique. Uh, you can see uh, Kyuzo Mifune also demonstrating it. Some people can might argue this is Yoko Wakare, but it looks more of Ude Geishi in my opinion. Uh, an arm twist. Here you can see a Kote Geishi being finished with an Omoplata. Once again, uh, here you can see the Kote Geishi in the Judo Kata, which was actually helped and introduced by Kenji Tomiki and others. Uh, let me tell you why exactly uh, the uh, Yoko Sutemi goes hand in hand with the philosophy of Aikido perfectly. Here are the five forms of Judo, uh, or which demonstrate the philosophy of Judo in these five uh, drills. The first one being, uh, it's impossible to defeat someone when it's in its pure form, meaning the you know strong core, a strong posture, a strong stance, etc. The second one is. Uh, the art without resisting. You, you see people in Aikido say this all the time. But the third one that really struck me is that when two things turn and come together, uh, they will eventually separate. Here you see like they are spinning, they are coming together and then separate again via uh, a Yoko Sutemi Waza. So it is perfect because you see a lot of uh, Aikidokas do this, the Yoko Menuchi, they spin around 
and then uh, someone executes the technique and they separate again here define you see this one uh, also like the sukumen eriminage so yoko sutemi in my opinion should be a staple in uh, the repertoire of techniques in aikido because it truly demonstrates what it's trying to say it's a great expression tool for aikido to have and that's the thing uh, it's the art of no resisting uh, two things come hand to hand eventually they separate so on and so forth yes but that doesn't mean that you should not compete i'm not saying you have uh, olympics and world tournaments etc i know the aikikai is very much against that but have shiai have light sparring between the students uh, in order to first of all know where they're at you can't be third fourth done and don't know what your technique is you can say it's uh it's philosophy all day long and that's fine but at the end you are still doing martial techniques the kotegeshi finished with the omoplata is just beautiful so when you do shiai a light sparring how how much intense doesn't matter but when you spar against someone who's resisting you you do not only polish your attitude your mentality and your spirit but also your technique you develop it and in my opinion that's what's needed there's nothing wrong with you know getting on the ground doing your kosutemi even suwariwaza like the you see the aikidokas on their knees doing demonstrating the techniques there's nothing wrong with that turning it into like a style of shiai and randori and finishing it with basic osaikomi like Kuzure Kezagatame or Yoko Shiogatame and uh, also you can have its own Osaikomi sometimes you see them they lay them down flat on their torso and pin the wrist to the lower back that can also be an Osaikomi special to Aikido and also uh, for law en enforcement so you should in my opinion spar and just to polish your technique polish uh, whatever you are doing your attitude not be so scared i remember after years and years of aikido and i was so close to my black belt i would constantly have this doubt can i defend myself now i know the answer that probably with only just aikido the, the answer is 100 percent no so the more i research this topic of the relationship of aikido and judo together the more i know the value of it and you need to have some sort of sparring or at least cross train it with something else because i believe that the aikido techniques hold a lot of value you know iriminage sukumen iriminage kaitenage these are great technique to have in your arsenal as takedowns that require minimal effort if your technique is incredibly polished we say that you know effortless throws with the kuzushi etc compared to the aikido throws they still require tons of strength so having this lightness of aikido is incredibly important to have but you cannot have aikido as a self-defense system and this brilliant philosophy without at least a little bit of shiai uh, the fact that they told tomiki uh if you want to do your own thing do not name it aikido is in my opinion just unfortunate even aikikai you can have some shiai do not uh, uh, how do you say do not organize championships but at least do shiai in class open mats very lightly just to, so people can know where their technique is at and how they can develop strategies and you can have a brilliant art that is for the street for someone who has not a lot of strength and also just a brilliant philosophy and not making it a laughing stock the way it is anyone who practiced and sparred judo jujitsu wrestling etc and see the arguments that the aikido people are presenting it is the art of no resistance why would we compete it's just so absurd and heartbreaking you have these brilliant techniques that you are not putting them into use whatsoever but you say we are doing it for the philosophy a philosophy that you yourself do not know what it truly is so if you have anything else to add to the subject oh before i go soon i'm gonna uh, compare the staple throws of aikido next to the staple throws of judo and truly demonstrate the difference between them 
but at the same time how they go hand in hand uh, you see the difference between medial and distal throwing etc I'm in my opinion it's an important video to have so if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was Shandy and thank you for listening